We're just awaiting the start of bout number four. Here we go with bout number four, ladies and gentlemen. And this is the battle of the big boys now. That's right, heavyweight time. It is time to batten down the hatches. And no man is ready to take a backward step. Let's take a look at the boxer in the red corner. A woman is on, man. Hi, I'm Chris Jennings. I work for 2K Games. I market and PR video games across Asia. Uh, I get to play a lot of games as well, which is a fantastic job. Uh, I'm a, a gamer, I'm a footballer, and soon to be a white collar boxer. I did white collar boxing because I'm a competitive person. And I saw this as a new challenge. Also, it's for a great cause, so very happy to be taking part. So, the white collar boxing is a great outlet. You finish work rather than going for a drink. You, know, you go to the ring, you do some training, you meet some good people, it's, it's fantastic. Thanks for coming along tonight, thanks for all of the support throughout this process. Uh, please enjoy the evening and cheer loud for me. For a man that designs video games for a living, this is just about as far away from his usual day-to-day -day activity that you can get. He weighed in at 91.5 kilograms and is 5 feet 11 inches tall. From London in England, representing 2K Games, Chris Joystick Jennings. Now tell me who can stop me, I'm in the zone Competition's none in the league of my own All about the W, I'ma bring it home When it's over with, I'ma be the king of the throne Now who can stop me, I'm in the zone Competition's none in the league of my own All about the W, I'ma bring it home When it's over with, I'ma be the king of the throne I'm in the zone, hey, look, I'm in the zone hey. The competition whack, tell them let's get it on let's go. My hustle game crazy and I'ma finish strong You threw up so many bricks, you probably could build a home, build a home. <laughs> I done came a long way, this is what the grind make Everybody want to show His opponent, in the blue corner Hi, my name's James Mallet. I've been in Singapore for about two years. I work in legal and compliance for a fund management company, which is as exciting as it sounds. I've really enjoyed the training. It's been really hard work, but I'm looking forward to getting the fight done and getting back to my normal life. It's been, a, it's been really hard work these last three months, um, trying to give up smoking, cutting down on drinking, eating healthily, training hard, in amongst work has been a real trial and I'm glad to say it's coming towards the end. This man has gone through the agony of slipping a disc in his back to prepare for this fight, but he assures us that he will continue to throw them like a sledgehammer this evening and there will be no holding him down. He weighed in at 93 kilograms and is six feet one inches tall. From Jersey in the Channel Islands, representing Aditya Burla Sun Life, James, the Count of Monte Fisto, Mallard.
Now then, welcome here. We're back at bout number four. I'm here now with Robert Sim, who's fighting in uh, bout number eight versus Ed Thwaite. Robert, thank you very much for joining me here. How are you feeling about your fight coming up in about an hour and a half? Yeah, feeling pretty good. Thought I'd be a little bit more nervous than this, but uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, I think uh, this far out, I'm still going okay. Great. Now, I understand you're a gambling man. I also understand that you fought against these two fellas. Where's your money going tonight? Oh, it's a tough one. They've both improved a lot, and my nose has taken a lot of hits from both of them. Uh, I'd probably be leaning towards James. Uh, just wonder if his uh, back injury late in training is going to impact him. Two Here we two. go. James Mullet in the blue corner. We had a suspected slip disc in the third week. He's come out swinging here. Now he's taking a good combo, but he's covered up now. Uh, we've got James Joyce, uh, Chris Joyce and Jennings fighting out in the red corner, both representing England. Now, what do you see yourself doing for the next hour, mate? How do you see yourself preparing and getting in the zone? Bit, bit of skipping, lots of stretching, bit of fluid, and just uh, just trying to keep my, fo my focus on what we learn in training. Right. It's, it's a key thing, you see it already. Uh, this fight, it's, uh, they're looking a lot more structured. And uh, if you go with what you're learning training, you'll be okay on the night. That's a great left jab there by the uh, Mallet. You've got to think the Mallet's trying to fight out from the outside. You've got to think Jennings is trying to get on the inside there. Do you think that Jennings' is, uh, history in playing computer games and having wonderful reaction speed is going to help him here? Uh, I, think it, I think it'll help him. He'll come forward. He's, he's getting on the attack now. He knows that's the way to hurt James. It's just whether he's got the energy to keep it going for the whole three rounds. Already we're seeing a slowdown in these fighters. We're only in the first round. How have you kept yourself fit in the last 16 weeks? Uh, skipping, jogging, 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 skipping, turning up the training, jogging, and having people punch me in the nose. It's been wonderful. Right, I've got to give it to you, Robert. I understand that you've lost over 20 kilos now. Um, what's been your trick? How are you feeling? And do you think you're ever going to put it all back on again? I'll never put it back on again. I hope I don't smoke again. And uh, the trick to losing it was stopping the drinking. Because with the drinking came all the junk food late at night and everything else that goes along with it. True. We saw Chris take it to James uh, in the blue corner in the first uh, half of this round. We're seeing James Mallet in the blue corner coming back here a little bit. If oh, good in, job. If you were in Chris Jennings' corner, what would you be saying to him? I'd be saying go forward, lead with a jab, keep moving forward, keep your opponent on the back foot. James can hit very hard if he's on the front foot, if he's on the back foot, you might be able to get away with it. Now, we see some young boys over in the blue corner there. Two very promising fighters versus uh, Alexis, uh, David Alexis in the red corner. Do you think there's a difference in styles compared to what they're telling their boxers? I don't think so. I think their style was formed in the training. They're not going to change anything now. They're just going to stick with it. And whoever's got the legs in the third round will finish the strongest and win. Now you've been fighting. I understand that you were a boxer when, during your teenage years. You've come back to it now in your mid to late 30s. Do you see a boxing career in the next four or five years? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, it was a lot of fun, but a lot of energy. I'll come no. back and train to keep fit and not put the weight on, but what I think you... after this I'm done. <laughs> what do you see happening in the second round? Oh, look, I think Chris will go forward a bit. Uh, James will sit back. He's got a, a hell of a right, and if he lands it, uh, Chris is in trouble. But if Chris keeps coming forward, he's right in this fight. A lot of sparring with both of these blokes. I quickly realised I needed to lose more weight to get out of their <laughs> weight division, and I'm glad I did. They can both hit hard. Indeed. Now moving down from heavyweight into cruiserweight into the, that 90.7 kilos and below, you've put yourself in with people like Ed Thwaite, Eric Freund, and uh, Henry Bristow. Do you see a difference in sparring style and fighting style between the, the two weight classes? Huge, huge difference. The uh, guys at the lower weight are a lot, a lot quicker and uh, they just keep going. Uh, the bigger guys, you, you know you're going to get a little five second breather every uh, 30 seconds or so. The, the, the other guys, they're just too quick. Um, yeah, it's, it's tougher, um, but yeah. It's, oh, there's uh, a wonderful hit. hit there by Malik. It's given Jennings his first day count of the night. We're up to six, seven, and now eight. We're ready to box again. Do you think that that has swayed the fight now to uh, Mallet's corner? I think it has. It'll be interesting to see how Chris comes out. 
He comes out on the attack. He's going to want to try and make up that eight count. Now I see the referee has wiped some blood away from Jennings. Um, no, yourself. Oh, we've got a bit of a fight. Oh no! Great left it there by Mallet. Chris knows he's got to go on the offensive here. Sweat spraying off both boxes at the moment. There seems to be a cut under uh, Jennings' eye. There's oh, oh, some big hits. One, the big two. bombs are coming in. Have we got a, a blood uh, stoppage here? I think we do. Yeah, it's a bit of a cut, isn't it? He's got a cut under his eye. I don't think it's that serious, if I'm honest with you. Now, what do you think uh, your opponent tonight, Ed Thwaites, what do you think he's going in tonight thinking about you? Uh, he's thinking he's quicker than me and he's going to outlast me. And uh, yeah, I just have to make sure that the work I've done will hold me in good stead. All right. Well, best of luck to you. We're back to this fight now. Oh, right. big jab, big Some jab. Some wonderful jabs there from Mallet. Chris has got to get James going backwards, otherwise those jabs are going to take their toll. Now Jennings is trying to throw a few combos, very few are getting through. Mallet's jab seems to be demoralisingly good here. Now, finishing off the second round, again, knowing you're a gambling man, where does your money go? Oh, my money is uh, very heavily in the blue corner at this stage, especially with the eight count. But it's boxing, it only takes one punch. And if the odds were short enough, I'd be on Betfair laying it at the same time. Right, yeah, good answer really, I, I've got to agree with you. Now tell me, Rob, what did you do last night? What time did you go to bed? How did you relax? How did you feel when you woke up this morning? I had a lot of mates first time in Asia, so I took them to Orchard Towers and I drank <laughs> soda water. And it was quite a, a sober experience and quite boring. Went to bed about 1.30. And how's that going to uh, equate to your night tomorrow night or uh, Saturday night when I, you're on it? I don't plan on remembering tomorrow night or the next <laughs> night or maybe Tuesday when I go back to work. Fair enough. I'll, I'll, that, that sounds fair enough. Right. Now, we've seen an Australian oh, fight already yeah. tonight, James Perry, unfortunately losing to the Estonian. Uh, are you holding up the flag now for Australia? Is well, that how you feel? Well, yeah, we don't play cricket against Estonia, so there isn't that rivalry there, but I think uh, I'm hopefully going to land one uh, early Ashes blow in the ninth tonight. <laughs> well, as an Englishman, I hope you're not. Um, <laughs> here we go, Chris coming into it. Chris is sense. coming into his own here. Now, oh, a good right there by Some Chris. Now the referee seems to have just let that go past. Now Jennings knows he's losing this he's, fight. He knows he's, he's got to swing. Oh, oh he's got there. it again. Now we're on our third eight count. We're hearing boos from the crowd. What do they want from these people? Uh, it's easy to boo if you're sitting in the crowd. Once you go through the training, it's a different story. You appreciate how hard these guys hit. Me especially, because they beat me up for the best part of 16 weeks. I've got to agree with you now. Now, the, the sponsor of this fight being San Miguel. Oh, give me a free back, one. Are you going back to San Miguel as of tomorrow morning? Uh, I usually only drink San Migs in the Philippines, but I'll drink them tonight. <laughs> I'll drink them next week. I'll drink them all month. We'll be back on it. Now, the referee has called the paramedics over regarding this cut under his eye. How seriously do you think this is going to be? Uh, it's uh, crucial. It's uh, right on the cheekbone. Any swelling, any other jabs are going to keep opening that up. Now Jennings seems to be taking this in his stride. It doesn't seem like it's affecting him too much. I hope and the paramedics let him continue. There's the cotton tip up the nose. A very painful thing. Trust me on that one. Now Jennings looks to keep continuing. He looks fine. The referee's going to let the last minute of this fight carry on. And here we go. Uh, Chris knows he has to chase the fight, so he's going to come forward. James just has to make sure he doesn't get hit with that big right. It's turned into quite cautious. Oh, Jennings go. is back. Now Jennings has obviously had three eight counts against him, but he's still fighting. That is the will of this man. Well done, Chris Jennings. What is, oh, and another great combo from Jennings. Now Jennings, the uh, computer games marketing manager, Fighting, uh, Both very well supported here. Now neither of them, I would argue, is as well supported as you are. How many tables have you got tonight? We've got eight. 
Eight tables tonight, and that's a one seating arrangement I never want to go through ever again. <laughs> it's as if you're married, I take it. Well, one of my mates said that, uh, told his wife that was the reason why he was allowed to come up here. Oh, that looks great, like oh, another count. A great combo. That is the fourth eight count that Chris said he's taken now. I think that has got to be the end of this fight. It's got to be. There is one second left oh. on the clock. As soon as we go back to fighting, that's it. Is looking, he seems to have called it. I think there seems to be. Uh, there's one second left. It seems like he's called it for a blood injury with a second left. That's unfortunate. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has stopped the Wonderful fight. Wonderful effort on Jennings. I'll pass you over to Nigel Cummings for your official announcement. The referee has stopped the fight. With an injury to our boxer from the red corner, the referee has stopped the fight, ladies and gentlemen. Can I ask Mr. Mark Wilson, the general manager from San Miguel, to please come in the ring? The winner of bout number four, is James, the Count of Monte Fisto Mallet from the blue corner. Boxes again in bout number four, Chris Jennings and James Mallett.